a teenager can be a challenging time in life, full of changes and new experiences. Teenagers are heavily influenced by the people around them. As parents, caregivers, or mentors, we need to provide positive role models for teenagers to look up to. This means being intentional about the people we allow into their lives and the activities they participate in. Encourage them to spend time with other Christians who share their values and beliefs. Provide opportunities for them to develop mentor relationships with older Christians who can provide guidance and support. Helping teenagers follow Jesus is an important task, but it can also be a rewarding one. By building a strong foundation, living out their faith, and providing positive role models, we can help teenagers navigate this challenging time in life with faith and guidance. Remember to be patient and consistent in your efforts, and trust that God will work in their hearts and lives. When teenagers see how their faith can impact the lives of others, they are more likely to take ownership of their faith and make it a priority in their lives. The rewards? They're immense. Inner peace, a sense of purpose, the joy of living a life that aligns with your beliefs, and the knowledge that you're part of a grand divine plan. Today, we will learn from the inspiring stories of teenagers who stood up for their faith. Let's embark on this journey together. Let's dive into the story of Sarah, a teenager from Texas. Now, Sarah wasn't your typical teenager. She was a young lady with a burning passion for her faith and a courage that belied her tender age. Sarah's story is one of determination, bravery, and unwavering faith, a testament to the power of standing up for what you believe in. Sarah attended a public high school in a small town in Texas, a place where faith wasn't always a popular topic of discussion. But Sarah was different. She felt a calling, a desire to make a difference, to share her faith with her peers. With a heart full of love for Jesus, she decided to start a Bible study group at her school. Now, this wasn't an easy decision. Sarah met with resistance from various quarters. There were those who questioned her motives, those who laughed at her faith, and even those who tried to discourage her. But Sarah was not one to be deterred. She knew that standing up for Jesus wasn't about popularity, it was about conviction. She believed in the power of her faith and the difference it could make in people's lives. Despite the opposition, Sarah pressed on. She gathered a small group of like-minded students and they began to meet, to read the Bible, to pray, and to share their experiences of faith. As weeks turned into months, the group grew. Other students began to see the joy, the peace, and the love that radiated from this small group of believers. They were drawn to it, and they too began to understand the power of faith. Sarah's courage and determination were inspiring. She stood up for her faith, not because it was easy, but because she believed it was right. She demonstrated that age is not a barrier to taking a stand for Jesus, and that opposition can often be a sign that you're doing something worthwhile. Sarah's story teaches us the power of faith and the importance of standing up for what we believe in. It's a reminder that we can make a difference no matter how big or small when we have the courage to stand up for our faith. Our next story is about Greg, a young man from New York. Greg was a teenager just like many others. He loved sports, was passionate about music, and had a tight-knit circle of friends. However, there was something that set Greg apart. He was a follower of Jesus Christ, a commitment he had made at a young age and held on to as he grew. One day, Greg found himself in a tricky situation. His friends were planning to attend a party, an event that was known to be filled with activities that contradicted Greg's Christian beliefs. The peer pressure was immense. After all, who wants to be the only one not attending the most talked about party of the year? But Greg's faith was a compass that guided him, even when the path was challenging. His commitment to his beliefs was unwavering. He decided to take a stand, to be different. He explained to his friends why he couldn't attend the party, fully aware that his decision could lead to ridicule, even isolation. His friends didn't understand at first. They tried to persuade him, saying things like, it's just one party and don't be such a buzzkill. But Greg stayed strong. He reminded his friends that he valued their friendship, but he valued his faith more. He shared his beliefs about Jesus, about love, kindness, and righteousness. 
His resilience was admirable, and over time, his friends began to respect his decision. They even started asking questions about his faith, opening up conversations they had never had before. Greg's story is not just about standing up for his faith, it's about the strength it takes to be true to oneself, to be different, to go against the grain. It's about the resilience it takes to stick to one's beliefs, even when it's not the popular choice. It's about the power of commitment, the beauty of faith, and the profound impact one person's actions can have on those around them. Greg's story reminds us that standing up for Jesus sometimes means standing alone, but it is worth it. So, how can you, as a teenager, stand up for Jesus Christ in your everyday life? First and foremost, it's all about knowing your faith. Understanding the teachings of Jesus Christ and the principles of Christianity is the foundation of standing up for Him. Read the Bible, participate in Bible studies, and engage in conversations about faith. The more you know, the better equipped you'll be to articulate your beliefs and stand firm in them. Praying for strength is the second key step. The journey of faith can be challenging, especially when you're young. There may be times when you feel alone or misunderstood. But remember, you're not alone. God is with you. Pray for strength, wisdom, and courage. Pray for the ability to stand up for Jesus even when it's hard. Next, find a support system. Your faith journey shouldn't be a solitary one. Look for a community of believers who can support you, encourage you, and hold you accountable. This might be your local church, a youth group, or a circle of friends who share your faith. Surround yourself with people who inspire you to live out your faith boldly. Taking action, even when it's uncomfortable, is another crucial step. Standing up for Jesus isn't just about words, it's about actions. It's about living out your faith in tangible ways. This could mean standing up against injustice, showing kindness to those who are different from you or sharing your faith with others even when it's uncomfortable or challenging. Remember, Jesus didn't promise that following him would be easy, but he did promise it would be worth it. And finally, keep in mind that standing up for Jesus is about more than just defending your faith. It's about embodying the love, grace, and compassion that Jesus taught. It's about striving to live like Jesus, to love like Jesus, and to serve like Jesus. This might look like being a friend to the lonely, standing up for the oppressed, or showing kindness to those who are hurting. In all things, let love be your guide. These are just a few steps to help you stand up for Jesus in your everyday life. But remember, this isn't a one-size-fits-all guide. Your journey of faith is unique to you. So, take these steps and adapt them to fit your life and your faith. Seek guidance from God and trust that He will lead you in the right direction. Remember, standing up for Jesus is a journey, not a destination. It requires daily commitment and courage. Standing up for Jesus Christ as a teenager is not always easy, but it is always rewarding. Remember Sarah? Just like her, you too can find the courage to speak up for your faith, even in challenging circumstances. And let's not forget David, who proved that age is no barrier when it comes to standing strong in faith. You too can be a lighthouse to people, just like Greg, no matter how young you may be. The key steps we've discussed today are your guiding lights on this journey. To recap, your faith is your compass, guiding you through the trials and triumphs of teenage life. Don't be afraid to share it with others. Be brave, be bold, just like the prophets of the old. Next, remember to keep your eyes on Jesus. In a world that can be confusing and chaotic, He is your constant, your anchor. Even when the tides of teenage life pull you in different directions, keep your gaze fixed on Him. And finally, don't forget to lean on your community. You are not alone in this journey. There are others around you who are also striving to stand up for their faith. Reach out, connect, and support each other. Let's take a moment to appreciate the power of faith. It's not just a belief, it's a force that can move mountains. Your faith is a tremendous gift, a tool that empowers you to stand up for Jesus Christ. So use it wisely, use it courageously. Standing up for Jesus as a teenager might seem daunting, but remember, you are not alone. You have a community, you have your faith, and most importantly, you have Jesus Christ by your side. Remember, every step you take in faith is a step towards a brighter future.
Your courage today is shaping the world of tomorrow. So keep going, keep shining your light. You are making a difference. You are changing the world one act of faith at a time. Remember, your courage to stand up for Jesus Christ today is shaping the world of tomorrow. Keep shining your light.